Hey everybody, Guilty here with Ninja Gaiden by the numbers episode 4, in which I will present analysis for NGB chapter 4 on normal difficulty. We're in Tyron now and still dealing with SWAT soldiers, both junior and senior types, but we are also introduced to the SWAT Grenadier and Ninja of the Black Spider Clan. We also learn the guillotine throw, or the decapitation throw, and acquire the nunchaku, which required an extensive amount of time to accurately determine and synchronize the damage output with each hit. But like I said last episode, you deserve it. In this run of Chapter 4, I encountered 21 Junior SWAT, 3 Senior SWAT, 2 SWAT Grenadiers, and 11 Black Spider Ninja. We already established the standard health pool for the Junior SWAT was 320. In this chapter, 12 or 57% spawned with 320, 2 spawned with 400, and 7 spawned with 420. We also established the standard health pool for the senior SWAT was 900 points. Seemingly to stress that point, just like in Chapter 3, all senior SWAT spawned at 900. The SWAT Grenadiers, quite conspicuous with their boom tubes as well as their blue shader, each spawned at 750, and the standard health value for the Black Spider Ninja seems to be 1,000 points, considering 10 of the 11, 91%, spawned with 1,000. The Soul Outlier spawned with 800 points. You'll certainly notice in this episode a lot of discrepancies that don't align with your own experience with Ninja Gaiden Black, and that is because what you are seeing is Ninja Gaiden Hack, the first of its kind NGB modding project I launched over two years ago. My experiments and exploits in Hack involved replacing background music, modding menu sprites and character textures, editing text, and most recently, providing an English localization as faithful to the original Japanese script as possible, what I call Faithful Subs. I've already incorporated the original Japanese names for weapons, ninjutsu, scrolls, and items, and my plan is to translate all the game dialogue as this season progresses and plug all that into the game's files too. If you couldn't tell by the presentation, I'm really enjoying myself. Speaking of modding, you'll notice the Black Spider Ninja are, well, blue, which is due to my modded Genin model having a white texture, and the game recycling that model but applying a shade just like it does for the SWAT, to characterize it as a new enemy type. And lastly, as I mentioned, I acquired the Nunchaku in this chapter and spent a good amount of time researching its technique list, identifying the damage output of combos, and recognizing the amount of damage each strike dealt using the hit counter as a reference. Why I didn't think of that sooner, I'll never understand. I already have footage for Chapter 5, and though there are more SWAT, spoiler alert, there also begins the slow drip of brand new enemies, new weapons, weapons, and new research. Don't wander too far now. You'll want to see what's coming up. Like, subscribe, go outside.
私はハンカー魔人潰しのレイチェルあれが魔人ってやつかめったに見るものじゃないけどねもともとはどれも人間だった人間素質の問題よそうなってしまう人は避けようがないわ悪人だろうが善人だろうがお前も波の人間じゃないな複雑よねあなたはドークという銃器教師っているか場所が知りたいどういうこと奴を殺す<笑>何を言ってるのか分かってるの殺せるならとうに私が殺してるわあいつは私から妹を奪ったのよ私が合わなかったらしい<笑>気にするなただの通行人だよまあドークとやらの話はうまくいってほしいもんだなああそうだレイチェルのことはよく知ってるがねいい子だよ